Please do subscribe to my channel by clicking on that subscribe button and please also don't forget to hit that notification bell icon to be the first one to receive the updates on this channel. What's going on guys, Janos here and today I am bringing this video to you guys on one shotting the Jerome, yes, Jerome, the, uh, you know, like uh, the boss hunt stage 11. Yes, I beat him in just one shot with my soul bad guy. So let's first discuss with his, uh, you know, the team's uh, uh, equipments. Okay, so this is the equipment of my soul bad guy. Uh, I have given him the artifact of the Exorcist Tonfa and guess what guys, it's not even maxed out yet. And these are my, uh, you know, equipments and they are pretty good, pretty good, which I say. So you can actually pause the video and just look out for them, uh, you know, like the stats and these are the stats that I'm actually going on with it, uh, even though he is a hero that deals the damage proportional to the cost of max health, right? That's what it says, right? Isn't it? Uh, it says right over here, it says damage dealt increases proportional to the enemy's max health. Oh, enemy's max health. <laughs> I forget about that one. Yes, but thing is that like, uh, it will be really good idea to give him the attack set and the crit set. That would be really, really good for him. Uh, I am so happy that I gave this equipment to him and he's actually able to deal a massive amount of damage. And his combat power is so good, guys. Nearly 80,000, isn't it? And the another uh, uh, hero that I've been using is Baal and Cezanne. The main thing that I have been really using, you know, like a key trick is this one, Tegel's Ancient Book. I had never actually given a thought about this book, but recently I watched a YouTube video and then I was a little bit shocked to see like how come a person is having a mana on the first count. And then yes, there is this artifact that actually gives to you the initial boost of souls and it's gonna be quite useful you know, to actually call out the spiritual guardian, especially that Arkansas, all right? So, uh, y y as you can see, like, the gears on my balance on is not really that impressive, all right? It's, 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 <laughs> you know, like, just go with the speed set and the effectiveness set, all right? Uh, or what do you call it? The hit set. Yes, the hit set. And the uh, next one that is very essential for my team is obviously uh, would be Iseria, but let's go with the mascot Hazel first. Uh, Yes, uh, the equipment for her is not really that superb either, all right? All she needs is speed and some health, uh, you know, to outlast the battle. That's all she requires. The main thing is from the Awaken and go into the skill tree. And this is the thing that you really want, guys. Increases the attack of all fire elements by 10%, okay? Uh, you really need to... Uh, especially to change the hazel into the mascot hazel and when you do that go into the tree and then please try to uh, you know like uh, improve this fruition rune as soon as possible so that she will actually provide that massive uh, you know like attack boost for the fire heroes and soul bad guy by chance he actually ended up as a fire hero so there's a lot more firepower into that one and let's get into my Iseria that would be right over here yes for Iseria as well it's the uh, you know like the speed set and the hit set all right that's all that she requires and the gears are not really that impressive as well all right you don't need to actually look into what sort of like substats she has it's like just to it, it, like it's just it's just that normal guys whatever you get just Put into her all right just make sure that it's a speed set and a hit set all right so i will go back into the battle and i will try to do the battle once more and i'm gonna just show you how i did it in um you know like a method methodological pattern all right so if you have got like this kind of heroes then i believe that you can also pull it off really nicely so this is my team all right uh soul bad guy balance is on uh, mascot Hazel and then that would be Iseria. So I will be discussing a little bit in guide. Yes, obviously for Guardian you will need the Arkansas, all right? Oh, not Arkansas, Arkansas. Ah, damn. Uh, <laughs> I've been calling Arkansas for a while now. I'm so sorry about that. Is this Arkansas? All right. 
Arcasus. Okay, okay, okay. So let's get into the best. <laughs> oh my god, I am so embarrassed right now. Hey, bye guys. Just go into the auto mode, all right? Just don't auto mascot Hazel because, like, obviously you will need some heal to do to your team. Uh, whereas for Isaria, Bal and Cezanne and the uh, Soul Bad guy, just go with the you know like no skill mode, all right? So obviously, so because like you will need you will need to mash out those skill in the next stage. In the final stage, so you really don't want any of your skill in the cooldown, right? So that's the main thing that you want to happen. All right, so there we go, just like that. You know, very easy, very cool so far. And let's keep on beating that one out. And see, my soul is kind of like replenishing really, really fast. Only seven required at this point. And the damage of my soul bad guy is just so gigantic and so enormous. All right, I believe that he's supposed to be a uh, very good hero that is supposed to end up in the high tier list all right because of his damage output his damage output is just insane guys you just cannot you know like uh, ignore that one guys like he just makes it so easy in this game to beat up the dungeon bosses all right so this is how the trick starts you can see that like my arcasus all right the guardian is uh emitter is already up and then I will just uh, cool down the skill uh, of my, you know, mascot Hazel so that she can heal next turn. And I will go with the final skill of the Aceria. And she will be actually uh, going to decrease the defense of the Jerome. Yes, what you call it? Z E R O M, right? And Colossus. Yes, that's we say. And right over here, now you can use the Arcasus just like this. All right. So this is the you know like the basic setup. Uh, you might ask me like why Balance Sezan is right over there. Balance Sezan is just for uh, immediate backup. And um, like in case uh, our Lady Iseria is not able to proc that defense break, then balances and is for the backup all right or else he's just the one that gonna trigger the guardian blessing of the arcasus all right so there we go and let's move on to the final skill of my mascot hazel and let's see boom bada boom yes there we go uh so you can see right over there uh because of the mascot hazel uh my soul bad guy has received greater fire attack boost okay and um with the help of ball and Sutan, he has got the spiritual uh, you know like the spiritual blessing the guardian blessing all right uh with the guardian blessing he gets like 20 percent boost in attack as well as 20 percent boost in the critical hit rate all right so that's really good isn't it so uh, uh and the jerome needs to be on the death break status all right that's what you need and now just look into the damage just look into the damage just keep your eyes affixed it do the damage and boom one hit one kill and did you guys also notice that the damage was above 90,000 damage? 90,000 plus damage? Oh my god. Let me like, you know, like, it's really kind of hard to achieve that kind of damage in this game, okay? So, let's go back and then I will try to do another maneuver in the... Another battle mode in the, uh, you know, like the spirit altar. Okay. Oh, sh oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The forest spirit altar is right now off. All right. So I mean, like, because like in forest spirit altar, I was able to do more than one hundred thousand damage, guys. Yes, one hundred thousand plus damage, and I was pretty happy about that thing. Okay. <laughs> so uh, this is pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to show this video to you guys to share my damage output of my soul bad guy, how to achieve it, and how he can just one shot the Jerome so nicely guys so that's that's pretty much it so see you guys in the next video all right